Hey everybody, welcome to week three. Uh, we are you know, inching into this, I feel like, because I wanted you to have a super solid foundation before we like zoom ahead, but it's about to just get a little bit fun and um, uh, a little busier. So hopefully you're with me. Um, what, I, what the plan is this week is to introduce a little bit of color. And I know some of you are like perfectly fine just sketching in pencil or, or, or black ink or whatever it is you're sketching in. And I want you to know that's fine. You can continue with that. So I did want to just talk here for a second, let you know that's perfectly okay if you don't want to engage in this some of the material this week. However, um, it's kind of fun to add a pop of color and a lot of you are truly interested in color. So that's why we're going to cover that. And then by next week, we're going to be moving into um, into still lives and into, and then you know and into landscapes and all, portraits, all the other things that you guys want to do, um, urban sketching and all of it. So we're going to like really power through and do a lot. Um, that said, as I have told you um, quite a bit, I think is that I want you to really be engaged with whatever it is you're sketching. If you are just really just can't wait to sketchable a fruit, then sketchable a fruit. Um, if you want to get into portraits right now and don't want to wait till we get to that unit, you could do that. So as we are applying color this week, apply it to something that you're wanting to learn how to sketch anyway. I will demonstrate on a couple different things, but I want you to. Um, to grab whatever it is that you want to do. Um, if you are just really can't wait to get into doing those landscapes and you're out there sketching them and practicing them anyway, this is a chance to play with a little bit of color within that landscape or within that still life or within that portrait. So whatever it is you um, are passionate about that you're really wanting to learn more and you can't wait, this is a chance just to, to you know, with that, within the, the scope of the course to go ahead and go for it. Um, Remember, we're all beginners or at different levels of being beginners. You are, of course, as I always say, only in a race with yourself. Don't compare yourself with others. Don't be afraid. Be fearless as you put down some color. There's lots of ways to do it. So um, we'll get right into it. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit with colored pencil, with pastels or pan pastels, probably um, watercolor. Um, it's pretty crayons, it's pretty limitless uh, <laughs> the amount of different mediums out there that you could add color within a sketchbook. And I think with sketching, it's about what's gonna be easiest for you, what's transportable if you are sketching outside of the house and going uh, plein air or whatever, what's gonna be the simplest thing. And oftentimes um, when I go and I'll be sketching something, maybe you know a city or whatever, and I just have a pencil or pen with me and I'm just doing a simple sketch, but I take it home and that's when I add the color. Um, other times I you know, usually do carry some little box of watercolors or something with me or crayons. I have a couple, couple sometimes just a rubber band with a few of my favorite color pencils on it, you know, just to add a little pop of color. If I'm wanting to match colors, that's a different story than you know, if I'm going with the intent that I really wanna know what color that um, water was today. I did a whole series of paintings where I was getting the water at different points along the coast and because the blues change. And so I really wanted to get those exact blues. I didn't want to rely on my camera or anything or my memory <laughs> or anything else. So I brought a set of watercolors with me and I matched those colors to what I was seeing. And I actually kept these charts in my sketchbook and of what I saw different places so that when I went back and actually made paintings, I could do that. So it was sort of, I call it collecting colors. Um, I oftentimes do that, I oftentimes assign that to my students to, you know, go do some matching, what, wherever it is. Maybe it's the greens outside in, in your backyard, or maybe it's the, your favorite t-shirt collection or something like that. You practice matching some colors if you're really wanting to get into the mixing and making of colors. Um, in the course, I will um, include a little article on basic color wheel and mixing things. Um, but for this, it's really just simple. I just want to show you there's lots of different ways you can add it. I'll demonstrate a few different things and see where it goes from there. Again, if there are questions, email me, put it in the raise your hand discussion board. It's not being used much. Um, so you can always put a question there and, and you can bring it to the Zoom. If there's something you specifically want demoed, let me know before Wednesday and um, 
and, and I'll more than likely I'll be doing it anyway because I'm just gonna pull a bunch of stuff out Wednesday, I think. But if there's something specific, absolutely let me know and um, and I'll try to make that happen for you. All right, so have fun, engage with the work. Hopefully um, just, just have a good time. That's what this is for. All right.